Hi, everyone. Welcome to My AI Live. Uh, today is Monday, August 12th. My AI Live, we get together every Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 8 a.m. Pacific. We are learning about the My AI system. We're learning different ways of using it and not the conventional ways that you would think. Like you look at the thing and you're like, oh, it does this. We're learning so many other ways to use it, so many different things to use it for, so many different scenarios. And we're also learning how to create amazing conversations and and really be able to move the needle on our businesses. And, and the truth is, here's what I want to ask you today. How are you inviting people to look at your product to look at your business? How are you inviting people to look at your product or look at your business? Right before this, I was actually taking a walk on the beach here. And, you know, my, ta my toes are in the sand and I'm just kind of watching the waves and just, you know, just getting into this peaceful place. And what I thought about was a few people that I know that are struggling in their business. And the first thing I thought about was they're not inviting. They're not inviting to anything. Like they're not, they're not talking about their product. They're not talking about their business or anything like that. And the truth is, that's where it all starts from, right? So there's a funnel in our businesses, and in it, it's pretty much in every business, including network marketing. And so, Jennifer, if if there's something <laughs> that's that you're that you think's missing in this, please let me know. But there's this funnel that kind of goes down like this to this, right? And so the first part of the funnel up here is all the people that are just generally out there that we're just having conversations with, period. We're just saying hi to. We're just kind of starting relationships with. We're, but as they go further down in the funnel, they learn more about us. They learn more about what we do. Then we have the opportunity at some point to invite them. Invite them to try the product. Invite them to try the business. And invite them to something. And so the first thing I, I want you to think about today is what are you inviting to? Like if it's for your business, are you inviting to the business opportunity? Are you inviting to the product? And what's the thing that you're inviting to? Are you try inviting to a sample? Are you inviting to a video? What are you inviting to? And if you're not inviting, the thing I want you to ask yourself today is why? Why are you not inviting to something, right? Are you struggling with something? Are you struggling with belief in yourself? Do you not have the tool? What is it? So I'm doing a systems course right now where we're talking about all these things. And what's surprising is, is that, you know, in teaching this, it, it, as I'm teaching this course, what I'm realizing is, is that more people, the reason that they're stuck is they're not inviting. So today, as we make our post, I want you to think about what is it that you really want to invite to? Like Jennifer has a hero product, okay? And I and I use Jennifer and Paul a lot just because I really know their businesses. Jennifer has a hero product, a product that she has an incredible testimonial about. But then she also has the business opportunity and she's built an incredible business too. So both things. So she can, she can point to either one of those as she's having conversations. And as you're having conversations, Yes. Uh, as you're having conversations, I want you to think about what is it that you're inviting to and what does this person need? And Jennifer, you want to throw something in there real quick for everybody? Yes. Thank you, Elizabeth. I just love you. Something I was just training on right before we got on is if you don't know a need that your products or services can fill for that person, it is too early. If it's about you, it is not time to ask to invite. It, exactly. it you have to know, have to know how your products or service can help them. Exactly. Period. Because then, said it this morning, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And that's yeah. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. And that's and that's everything of our philosophy here, right, Jennifer? Like everything of our heart is this right here. We have lots of conversations, and through those conversations, we're building a tribe of people that that in in we build community, we build tribes, and out of that, you, you'll find the the people that your product will work for. The mistake we make, I think, is that we think our products for everybody, unless they we found a need for them. We're, we're you know, Tom's on here and his wife. I I'll I'll, I'll end with this story, and then we're going to go make our post. 
I remember seeing her at Most Powerful Women. It was, I think, 2016 at the Mirage Hotel. And um, I was in the audience. And uh, I remember I did not know Denise at the time uh, then. She's a great friend of mine now. Beautiful, beautiful woman. Um, And she's up on stage on a panel. And they're talking about, you know, how you build your business and stuff. And all of a sudden... This beautiful, slim, little blonde lady with just, you could just tell her heart, right, Paul? Like, every time you see Denise, you can just see her heart, right? And she just pops off that 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 stool, and she runs up to the stage, and she just waves her hand, and she says, you all just popped the question way too soon. And she had me at hello right there. Like, she had me right there. It was like, yeah, yeah. So what I want you to think about is, if you went on a date and somebody on that first date asks you to marry them and spend the rest of their life with them, would you be like, I might need to get to know you first? That might not be a good plan. You know, you'd probably have some reservation, right? Or it might be like, a no, whatever that is, right? We have conversations so we can find the people that we can help with our product or business. So we can build incredible relationships so we can love people and build incredible tribes. And even if the person's not right for your product or business, sometimes they build a great partnership, a great collaboration, or a great friendship. Jennifer and I are in completely different companies. Doesn't matter to me, doesn't matter to her. We're great friends. We love each other dearly. Like we've got each other's backs. So this is what I want you to think about because that's what we're building in this community supporting and helping one another and and showing each other how to do this business. So let's make a post. And really what I want you to think about is having more conversations so you can invite somebody to, to something, but you're not going to be able to invite somebody unless you're having conversations in the first place. So let's have some great conversations. Now, what if you don't know what you want to post? I really want to hit this one area of our My AI that can start conversations really in an amazing way when you don't know what you want to post. So let me ask you, by a show of hands, can we, first of all, can we be honest with each other? Is that okay? Are we okay with that? Okay. How many of you have no idea what you want to post today? Raise your hand. If you really just don't know, I don't know what I really want to post. Okay. All right. Many of you. Some of you know what you want to post. Perfect. For those of you who know what you want to post, go ahead and post what you want. Perfect. For those of you who don't know what you want to post, I want to give you an idea that will resonate with the trueness of you so you can start more conversations. Does that sound good to you? Does that sound good? Okay. All right. Let's do that. All right. Now, let's go over here. And first of all, we're going to show you where your video, your replay is going to be here at the official corporate now site group. The official corporate now site group is right here. This is where you're going to find your replay at. And this is where you'll find me. My name is Elizabeth Larson. I'm a personal business transformation coach, teacher, trainer, speaker, author, uh, network marketer. And if you if you have a question, please bring it here. If you want me to do a certain type of thing, message me, friend me. You'll get some great ideas. All of the posts I make here have been made with the My AI system. And um, and if you haven't watched this video, watch it. It's hilarious. Okay, all right. Let's get going today. So I'm going to come over here now. When you don't know what you want to post, many times you'll wake up and you'll be like, I don't know what I want to post. I'm not sure really what I want to post. I have no clue. There's a couple of things that you can do. And we know the make it my own. But one thing I really want to highlight today is our surprise me button again. We haven't been talking about that enough lately. And sometimes even if I know what I want to post, I will hit the surprise me button a couple times just to see if it will give me a better idea of the way to do it. Okay. So if I know what I want to post, I could put right here and say, give me a post about this. Perfect. But if I have no idea and I wake up and I'm having one of those days and I'm just like, I don't know what I want to post, I can hit the surprise me button. Or if I do know what I want to post, I can hit that button and see if, what other ideas it gives me to put together with it. So 
ever had that activity that instantly brightens your day? For me, it's dry, diving into an inspired book like Atomic Habits. The power of a great read can truly uplift your spirit and open new possibilities. What's your go-to feel-good activity? Share below. Now, what happens if it gives you a post and you like it, but it's not quite right? I can come over here to my AI and I could say, rewrite this post making my favorite activity walking on the beach. And then I can re regenerate it. Now I'm asking it to stay in the same vein, but asking it to give me a different activity instead. So ever have that activity that instantly brightens your day? For me, it's taking a peaceful walk on the beach. The serenity and beauty of the ocean waves truly uplift my spirit and open new possibilities. What's your go-to feel-good activity? Now, I love this. Now, if I didn't know what to post, this is a great way for me to actually share some message of inspiration and to get some inspiration. Now, let me show you the rest of this. This book obviously does not match. I could come over here and do image search. I could do ocean or the beach. I could make a post like that and I could use something to that effect. Okay. And, and I, I can put some writing on there. there. I'll probably use one of my own photos. But one other thing that I can do, ever have that activity that instantly brightens your day? For me, it's taking a peaceful walk on the beach. That's just what I did right before here. I got done with one training. I took a walk. I walked down to the beach. I went down to Shell Beach. I put my feet in the sand. I was with the waves. I said, this is what I need right now before I go do the rest of my day. I needed to take a moment for me. So the serenity and beauty of ocean waves truly uplift my spirit and open new possibilities. Now, I'm going to add some more stuff in here. It is during these times that I get my inspired good it is also the time i need to take to keep myself centered and taking time for ourselves helps us in so many ways. Also, I'm not spilling that right. But I can fix the side of my chair below. Okay. So I went from blank slate, not knowing what I wanted to talk about, what I want to post about, number one, to understanding that I wanted to have more conversations, to number three, using a surprise me post to see what inspiration it would give me. To number four, now start putting a post together that's starting a conversation that can bring more conversation to that original part, right? That original part, the top part of your funnel, the top part of that drive, where I'm just building a tribe of people that I'm having great conversations with, building beautiful relationships. That's where the start comes from. All right, I like me better, but okay, so let's read how this goes. Ever have that activity that instantly brightens your day? For me, it's taking a peaceful walk on the beach. The serenity and beauty of ocean waves truly uplift my spirit and open new possibilities. It's during these times that I get in, that I get my inspired good ideas. It's also the time I need to take to keep myself centered and at peace. Taking time for ourselves helps us in so many ways. It also proves to my subconscious that I have value and worth because I'm taking care of myself. This helps 
my self-esteem. Myself, and I know that this helps. So, okay, taking time for ourselves. Did I really mess that up still? I am. Taking time for ourselves helps us in so many ways. It also proves to my subconscious that I have value and worth because I'm taking care of myself. And I know that, and I know that this helps my self-esteem. What's your go-to feel good activity? Share below. I'd love to get some new ideas for self-care. Okay. So one thing that, that will any of us who have built anything online will tell you is that you can't just constantly sell your product because people, there, there's only so much of that people are going to do. So you inspire people, right? You watch all these people, Gary Brecka, you know, all these other people that are doing reels and posts and everything else. What are they doing? They're giving tremendous value. Why are people following them? Because they're giving value and they're talking about their own story. The more we talk about our story and give value, the more people will want to follow you, the more people that will be ultimately interested in what you're doing. And it's just like Jennifer said, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care and they start to know how much you care by what you post and what's important to you and what you speak about. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to make this post and I'm going to hit get started and I'm going to hit post. Now I should have a picture here of the beach, which I do. Well, look at that. Hope that works. Uh, let's do this and you gonna come out. Okay. So picture beach. Wow. I'm wearing the same necklace. Okay. Okay. Got that. Now I'm going to hit next and now I am going to post. All right. Perfect. Made my post. Now, here's the thing. What am I going to do with that post? As people comment, I'm going to comment back, get ideas for other self-care things as well, start conversations, start more of a following, and see if any of those conversations are going to go to something more. Sometimes it's many times of that when you're building online, but here's the thing. Ultimately, your number one jobs are to build that relationship so that you can have those conversations in the first place. Because without those conversations and without the relationships, you're not going to have anybody to actually invite to anyways. So was that helpful? Was that helpful for anybody that was stuck? Yeah? No? Maybe? Okay. Let's go do our post. And We're going to take five minutes and go ahead and do our post then. And then five minutes, we'll come back. We'll put the timer up. And then five minutes, we're going to go ahead and look. And if you have any questions, good. Glad it was helpful, Tina. Okay. In five minutes, we'll come back. And I'd love to showcase some of your guys' posts of what you've come up with for today. So everybody else can get those ideas as well. All right. We are pretty close. I want to get some things going here. Um. Everybody keep working, but I want to start sharing some posts just in case anybody needs some more ideas. And so, Diane, I know you want to do the oven mitts, but I have to do the other posts first. All right, Jennifer, you're going to get a kick out of this. Cindy, you're going to laugh. Like, I, Coach Jenny, you're going to love this. Like, seriously, Deborah, this is this. I saw this and I'm like, oh, no, we, we have to start off with this one. Okay, first, let's get you unmuted, honey. All right, so I know I've seen this before, but I giggle every time I see this. Don't wash your hair in the shower. It's so good to finally get a health warning that is useful. It involves the shampoo when it runs down your body when showering with it. A warning to all of us. I don't know why I didn't figure this out so sooner. I use shampoo in the shower. When I wash my hair, the shampoo runs down my whole body and printed very clearly on the shampoo label warning. For extra body and volume. No wonder I've been gaining weight.
well, I got rid of the shampoo and now I'm going to start showering with Dawn dishwashing soap instead because the, the label reads dissolves fat that is otherwise difficult to remove. <laughs> That's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I that one because I'll tell you, you get a good laugh like that, and and that stands out, right? Did that stand out compared to most other posts? Like that was fantastic. So, like Diane, absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Uh, let's go back to the Eva myths, though. I know that's a thing that we were talking about the other day, but oh my gosh, I had to share that because that was just that was just perfect. Brilliant. Finally, the answer. It's all in the shampoo. <laughs> all right. So she did a post about oven mitts before and that she was making a new set. She just finished sewing some adorable oven gloves. My daughter can't wait to get her hands on them. Homemade gifts really do have an extra special touch, don't they? What's the best homemade gift you've ever given or received? Happy Sunday. I I love this. I love this post. I think it's so great. And um, the only distraction is... um. I, I almost wonder, and it's just something to think about. I think the happy Sunday thing, first of all, makes it backwards because now I'm looking at this post realizing oh. how long ago it was. So I'm not sure if that's- I'll that take it away. Yeah. And the other thing is, what's the best homemade gift that you've ever given or received? I love that. I think the only other thing I would put on that if you really want to have some conversations is- looking for some more ideas of things to make because then people will really say what's the best one. So, you know, that that's kind of the one thing I would have done, but I love that. And I love your oven mitts. They're so cute. Those look so much nicer than mine. Mine are a mess. I'm going to have to get some more. I they love got little, They got little bees on them. If oh, you... they're so cute. Like look at little bees and hearts and little sunflowers. Just yeah. adorable. <laughs> Love it. All right. Okay. So I got Diane here. Where Jennifer, I thought I had yours. Let me go back to the chat. I thought I clicked on it. Where'd it go? Thank you. Thank you, honey. Great job. Okay. Let's go over to Jennifer. First of all, branding, right? When we talk about branding, Jennifer has amazing branding. So when you think about your branding, what is it? What's the message that you want to send? out to people right like i have very specific branding Je jennifer has very specific branding what is your brand what is your message what do you want to be known for okay so first of all amazing on that okay yeah love this perfect 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 love that okay money motivation there was a significant time in my life when i didn't have someone who truly had my back or wanted the best for me I remember struggling through those moments, feeling alone and wishing for support. But today, I'm incredibly blessed to have someone who believes in me continuously without fail. Their unwavering belief has made such a power, a profound difference in my life. I want to remind you all, don't let anyone dim your life, no matter how tough things may seem. Surround yourself with those who uplift and cheer for your success. If you ever feel like you need professional support to help you shine even brighter, don't hesitate to reach out. Let's see if we can work together to achieve your dreams and unlock your full potential. Click the link above to schedule your time. Absolutely love this. And look at the pictures that are included, right? How sweet is this? I love this picture of you guys. This is like one of my favorite pictures of you. Well, no, I think this one just won. Okay. That one's my favorite now. Every time you put a new one up, it becomes my favorite. All right. Absolutely love this. Great, fantastic post. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. Dr. Lisa Singletary. I posted this yesterday. I'd love to share. Okay. So let's go over to her. First of all, look at this photo the way this is. This is adorable. Like the butterflies and everything else, eye-catching, very, very sweet, wonderful photo. Okay. Now let's go ahead and read. Taking my own advice on self-care. Just got back uh, 
just got back from Twist Locks Love Natural Hair Salon in Pikesville, Maryland, and I feel rejuvenated. Remember, it's vi vital to invest in yourself. How have you practiced self-care lately? Drop your wins below. Let's inspire each other. Uh, love this. Love this post. Love all of the photos and everything else on here. Only thing I might have done differently is how have you practiced self-care lately? Drop your wins below. There's some here. I almost would love to see what it was that they did because instead of getting conversations, it's lovely, beautiful, which is fine. That's great for algorithm. Um, I would have loved to have seen people giving you more ideas and having even more in-depth conversations as well. Uh, just something to think about. And not every time do you have to do that. Like sometimes it's just like this. But I got to tell you, this photo is perfect. This photo is perfect. I uh, And especially the investing in me again. Perfect, 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 Dr. Lisa. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. How did you say I could have worded it differently? I'm, so, I'm just... so the little bit, it's, it's what you're asking for, right? So how have you practiced self-care lately? That's perfect. I love that. Drop your wins below. Let's inspire each other. That's great. Another way that if you want to have more conversation, conversation out of it, maybe how have you practiced self-care lately? Drop, drop what you have done down below. I'd love to get some more ideas. And then through those ideas, have deeper conversations than just the beautiful, lovely, gorgeous, beautiful. Because these ones, these one word things are harder to start a conversation on if you really want to get a conversation started that can go over to something else that could go to a messenger or, or, or um, to a Zoom or to a phone call for your business. So that's another way that you could have done it. But it's great. This is a fantastic post, Dr. Lisa. Congratulations on it. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Let's do this. I don't, does anybody have any questions, first of all? Questions for anybody? And I don't know why this is over here. Make this go away. Like, why are you there? Okay. I want to make sure that I've got all the questions answered. Any other posts got Diane? Got Jennifer, Dr. Lisa, anybody else want to share a post or get some other ideas on that? I think we're good. Okay. All right. Tomorrow, let's come back to my AI live at 11 a.m. Eastern time, 8 a.m. Pacific. Bring your questions. And if you have a certain type of business and you want to say, hey, can we do a demo of my business? This is what I do. There are times where we will actually, like Jennifer, we've done this with Jennifer, like Jennifer, let's make a post together. You know, Diane, let's make a post together. So, and we do it right here. So if you want to do that, message me, let me know, or just let me know in the comments. Would love to have that with you. And if you have any questions or comments, bring them back tomorrow for at 11 a.m. Eastern time, 8 a.m. Pacific for my AI Live. Have a great day, everybody. Love you so much. And get your posts done. We're building a business and a community and a tribe together, supporting and loving one another along the way. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.